Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the live stream at the Shelter Stage Pozo Saloon. It's an amazing Sunday afternoon. We've got a live crowd in the backyard, socially distanced, and we are going to start live streaming uh, right away. 2.30 p.m. starts with Slow County Stumblers, and we're kicking it off now with Banjer Dan. Enjoy. All right, let's go. Checking the mic, one, two. Did I turn it on correctly? Did I turn on the mic correctly? It's on. I can hear it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, live and direct from the Pozo Saloon, I am so glad to be back here. My first unsocially, well, it is a socially distanced show, my first show out of my RV since March 15th. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, wow, banjos rock. <laughs> Thank you. That's Shuckin' the Corn by the great and mighty Earl Scruggs, the father of bluegrass banjo. I tell you, man, I love this. Well, thank you, Kelly. I'm going to pay a little more tribute before I start on some original material here. The first one was uh, the great and mighty Earl Scruggs, the father of bluegrass banjo. How did he get that title? By joining Bill Monroe's Bluegrass Boys in 1946. Bill Monroe was the father of bluegrass music. So here's my favorite Bill Monroe song. This is called Bill Blue Night. <laughs> Someone that you knew was true blue night Got you on my mind I used to call you on the 
telephone Well I used to call and it made you glad But now when I call it makes you mad for night All alone Since you put me up on the shelf There's just one thing you should know You're gonna reap just what you sow overnight All by myself Someone that was new, you quit someone that you knew was true. Blue night, got you on my mind. Blue night, got you on my mind. Oh, thank you. I got uh, an unspecified user saying rad. Well, thank you, unspecified user. There's a joke in there somewhere about the way I've treated women, but I think I'll leave that one. Here's a tune that I wrote at, at the uh, good old Last Stage West, and I'm going to send it out to your fiancé, uh, whose name was... Ray. Ray. As in Ray, Ray Duncan? Not Ray Duncan. No, okay. Different. <laughs> Different Ray, okay. Not quite. Anyway, so, um, Ray, this is for you. I wrote this at the Last Stage West, which is now called the Halfway Station. It was about my rate of pay. It's called Occasional Veggie Burger.
occasional veggie burger. I got through it. Maybe a little lost in that improvised section, but it happens. Oh, good. Thank you. That was my first attempt at uh, trying to write anything jazzy. And right now I'm in the middle of doing a transcription of the overture to the Three Penny Opera, which mixes classical music and jazz in some really strange ways. So I do know some Rolling Stones. But before I do a Rolling Stones song, I'm going to do one that's uh, one of my own songs of heartache and agony and misery. Because I think a lot of you songwriters will agree that we write our best stuff at the lowest point in our lives, right? This is called Life's a Gamble. Coolly, cruelly, she gathered all the cards into her hand. Her deck was stacked against me, a full house, new job, new life with a new man. Well, I thought I had a pair, but when I looked, it wasn't there. I wondered where my good luck charm had gone. Then she stood up from the table, said, I guess it's time that I was moving on. Oh, how much time and money have I wasted on this game? If I could do it over, Lord, it wouldn't be the same. When the cards are dealt, we're looking for a pot of gold. We don't expect to find ourselves alone and growing old. Serenely, she raked in all the chips for the cashier. She made a nice goodbye, but the blood was rushing, pounding in my ears. Now she's full of full concern, advice on how to treat a burn. She tells me that I'm gonna be okay. While she's laughing to the bank, leaving me to face a cold and harsh new day. Did I waste upon this game? If I could do it over, Lord, it wouldn't be the same. When the cards are dealt, we're hoping for a pot of gold. We don't expect to find ourselves alone and growing old. Slowly, dully, I'm packing up what's left of our old home. The past is all around. It mocks me like the raven in Poe's poem. And now it's far too late to try to bring the love back to her eye. She's walled her heart and will not let me in. Well, now that I've lost at poker, I guess I'll give that roulette wheel a spin. Oh, how much time and money will I waste upon this game? I've got to do it over. Lord, don't let it be the same. When that ball is dropped, I'm praying for a pot of gold. 
please don't let me find myself alone and growing old. Cruelly, cruelly, she gathered all the cards into her hand. Thank you, that's called Life's a Gamble. <clears throat> Well, thank you, Lynn Stern. Much appreciated. I have requested to do a Rolling Stones song, something a little happier than that last one. I used to be in a band called J.B. Beverly and the Wayward Drifters. We played a variety of uh, outlaw, honky-tonk, kind of a mixture of punk rock and country because J.B., despite his country roots, was also a punk rocker. He was in a band called the Murder Junkies back in the day, after the death of Gigi Allen. So here's a song that we used to do to show that the Rolling Stones were a pretty darn good country band. Sing it if you know it. silk upholstered chair talking to some rich folks that you know I know you won't see me and my ragged company darling you know I could never be alone take me down little Susie take me down You're the queen of the underground And you can send me dead flowers in the morning Send me dead flowers by the mail Say it with dead flowers at my wedding And I won't forget to put roses on your grave Take me down, little Susie, take me down. 
to put roses on your grave. Thank you, friends. All right. <laughs> All right, I got a couple chat shout outs. I got uh, John Malik saying Pozo Rocks. Hi, John. Rainbows. And Notron Brown saying That's How You Banjo. <laughs> right on, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Since I mentioned JB Beverly, I'm going to get back to an original tune. This is one that JB and I wrote together. It's on our first record called Dark Bar and a Jukebox. And the uh, genesis of this song is that I was hanging out with JB one day and he was uh, miffed, can I say? He was not in a good mood. I said, what's wrong? He said, I went to the bank to try to get a loan. I wouldn't, they wouldn't give me a loan. And uh, they said, uh, what do you have for collateral? He said, I don't have anything. They said, we can't give you a loan. He said, why do you think I need the money? <laughs> so after a while, I got tired of listening to him complain, and I said, why don't you write a song about it in the style of Jimmy Rogers? He said, OK, but only if you help me. So this is one of my few co-writes before they get them cuffs on me. I woke up early on Monday, I had to go to town. I went to pick up a few things and take a look around. The sun was shining brightly, the birds sang a sweet song. It was such a lovely day, I thought that nothing could go wrong. Till I walked into my local bank to get myself some cash. Clerk said, no siree, Mr. Beverly. You're flat on your ass. The judge sent me a letter. The sheriff's after you. Cause you haven't made a payment, boy, since 1992. So I reached across the counter and I grabbed him by his tie. He hit me with a stapler, so I blackened both his eyes. I grabbed that judge's letter and I tore it to the floor. And I grabbed up all the money And I walked right out the door Pulled into my driveway, not a soul in sight. But when I came back out, that's when I saw those red and blue flashing lights. I reached for my rifle as the sheriff grabbed his gun. I laid that lawman on the ground and I started on the run. The law is after me. I'm wasting lots of, I'm facing lots of time. Sorry, JB, let's try that again. <laughs> well, now the law is after me. I'm facing lots of time, but I've got to make a stand before they hang me for my crimes. You might call me a simple man because I hold a grudge, but before they get those cuffs on me, I'm going to kill that judge. Looks like we have an announcement coming. No? <clears throat> All right. Friends, I was called before they get those cuffs on me. And I'm facing lots of time, not wasting lots of time, but it happens. Uh, so we got a couple comments. Yes, sir. We got Dan Clement in the house with his donation. Thank you. As well as Mary Freeman with another donation. 
Thank you, Mary. And Mary Martin saying, hey, Mary and Dan, we met you in January. Sounds great. Hello, Angela. I assume they're, they're saying something to someone else, but. Surprise. We know Angela. Hello. Marie Martins. Hello, Marie. Well, thank you. Well, I hope you all are ready for one of my other sad songs of heartache and agony. And then I'll go back to the banjo and we'll, uh, we'll play something a little more cheerful. This is the first song I wrote after my wife left. Turns out to have been a good thing, but at the time I didn't see it that way. This is called, It's Just Too Late. How could I have been so blind? I was out of my mind. I acted like you weren't there till it was just too much for you to bear. And now I'll never have the chance Take my place beside you in the dance Our hopes, our dreams, our schemes and plans Slipping through my fingers with time's sands It's just too late I used to think that I was strong I thought I wasn't doing wrong But part of me was sick and weak A puff of smoke, our lives were bleak And now I'll never have the chance To take my place beside you in the dance Our hopes our dreams, our schemes and plans Slipping through my fingers with time's sands It's just too late I wish I'd never caused you pain I know we'll live to love again I search for hope in every glance But now I know I'll never have the chance No, now I'll never have the chance To take my place beside her in the dance My hopes, my dreams, my schemes, my plans Slipping through my fingers with time's sands It's just too late Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Griffin. Some someone. I know that there are folks out there listening. There are. Let me hear you in the backyard, in the back of the pozo. Make some noise. Thank you. Someone in the front of the pozo making noise. <laughs> With, uh, all right, we got a couple people in the chat. Yes, sir. We have Marie and Jim from Iowa listening 
Iowa. Iowa. Wow. Iowa. Way out there. Where in Iowa? Ask them where. Yeah, let's, let's see if they respond. I was just in Washington, Iowa on my latest tour. Awesome. No one's ever even heard of Washington, Iowa. Linda, thank you, Linda. And Ron Brown, also well, you folks are all so kind. I really appreciate it. I like to make this pitch that I do um, my shows out of my RV, my, my shelter at home shows. This is my first one, not in my RV, but uh, I am not the only musician out there who's lost all his or her gigs. So I certainly appreciate all the, all the love that you're sending me and uh, a little bit of money. But I'd like to say, be sure to save some for some of the other musicians, uh, because I'm actually doing not too badly. So there are other folks who need the money as well, so support them, and thank you very much. Here's one that I learned from the country gentleman. It's called Many a Mile. city, another town, another friend to say goodbye, another girl to sit and cry, and it's many a mile I've been on this road, many a mile I have gone. Appreciated, Marcia. Uh, and uh, a lot of other great things. Wow, they're really streaming it. Looks like listening from Redding, California, a Tascadero alumni, and that's coming from Dave Cox. Hi, Dave. Wow. So listen, let me uh, let me play another song here because I could I could listen to the accolades all day long, folks. Right. Believe me. <laughs> but uh, my new friend Griffin here is the one running the sound and the and the uh, video here. We were chatting before the show about some of the music we liked, and uh, you mentioned what was that band, the uh, the Red Hot, the, oh, who's your hot shots? the Who's Your Hot Shots, who did some novelty songs, and then I mentioned Doctor Demento, and we agreed that Doctor Demento, oh Doctor Demento, he was fabulous, and then we got into the subject of Tom Lehrer, and I promised Griffin I would do my favorite Tom Lehrer song. <clears throat> that time of the night. <clears throat> this one here is. Uh, it's a Cold War song, it's all about the bomb, but I think it works pretty well for the plague as, 
in addition. So check this out, folks. This is all about finding the silver lining in every cloud. This is about making lemonade when life hands you lemons. This is about always look on the bright side of life. Yes, indeed. So folks, just think about this salient fact right here. <clears throat> when you attend a funeral, it is sad to think that sooner or later those you love will do the same for you. And you may have thought it tragic not to mention other adjectives to think of all the weeping they will do. But don't you worry. No more ashes, no more sackcloth. And an armband made of black cloth will someday never more adorn a sleeve. For if the bomb that drops on you gets your friends and neighbors too, there'll be nobody left behind to grieve. And we will all go together when we go. What a comforting fact that is to know. Universal bereavement, an inspiring achievement. We all will go together when we go. And we will all go together when we go. All suffused with an incandescent glow. No one will have the endurance to collect on his insurance. Lloyds of London will be loaded when they go. And we will all burn together when we burn. There will be no need to stand and wait your turn. When it's time for the fallout and St. Peter calls us all out, we'll just drop all our agendas and adjourn. Down by the old maelstrom, there'll be a storm before the calm. And we will all fry together when we fry. We'll be French fried potatoes by and by. There will be no more misery when this world is our rotisserie. We all will fry together when we fry. And we will all bake together when we bake. There will be nobody present at the wake. With complete participation in that grand incineration. Nearly eight billion hunks of well done steak. And we will all char together when we char. And let there be no moaning from the bar. Just sing out a te diem when you see that ICBM. And the party will become as you are. Griffin, you and your friends will all go directly to your respective Valhallas. Go directly, do not pass go, do not collect. Two hundred dollars. And I already got my money from the government. And we will all go together when we go. Every hot and tot and every Eskimo. When the air becomes Uranus, we will all go simultaneous. And we all will go together when we all go together. We all will go together when we go. Thank you, friends. We will all go together when we go. Every hot and tot and every Eskimo. I've got love to you from Beverly Hills. Whoa, really? Well, thank you, Marsha Morris. I've been to Beverly Hills a couple of times. It's lovely up there. Beautiful up in them our hills. John Hartford lived in Beverly Hills for a little while. And he wrote a song called Vamp in the Middle, which I don't know very well, but the opening line is, make my bed with a crease in the middle, and make my home in the Hollywoodish hills. I always love that line, the Hollywoodish hills. Make my living with a hillbilly fiddle, playing little runs and the funny little fills. That's on an album called Aeroplane. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. So I, 
will do a John Hartford song. I wasn't planning to, but I will do it anyway. John Hartford's most famous song, we all know it. What beautiful, incredible poetry in this song. Yes, indeed. I still might run in silence, tears of joy might stain my face, and the summer sun might burn me till I'm blind. But not to where I cannot see you waving from the back roads and the rivers flowing gentle on my mind. <laughs> It's knowing that your door is always open and your path is free to walk That makes me tend to leave my sleeping bag rolled up and stashed behind your couch And it's knowing I'm not shackled by forgotten words and bonds and the ink stains that have dried upon some line That keeps you ever walking down the back roads of my memory and keeps you ever gentle on my mind. It's not clinging to the rocks and ivy planted round their columns now that binds me. Or something that somebody said because they thought we fit together walking. It's just knowing that the world will not be cursing or forgiven as I walk along some railroad track and find That you're waving from the back roads and the rivers of my memory Ever smiling, ever gentle on my mind Tears of joy might stain my face And the summer sun might burn me till I'm blind But not to where I cannot see you waving from the back roads And the rivers flowing gentle on my line I dip a cup of soup back from a gurgling crackling cauldron in some train yard Beard a roughening coal pile and a dirty hat pulled low across my face. Through cup cans round a tin can, I pretend to hold you to my breast and find that you're waving from the back roads and the rivers of my memory, and forever you'll be gentle on my mind. Let's hear it from the people at the Pozo, yay! I hear you out there, thank you very much friends. If you have a request, you can come to the fence and yell it over the transom and I might play it for you. I've got a couple of nice comments, my favorite banjo player ever. Wow. And that's from an unspecified Facebook user again. Well, thank you, I'm honored to be anyone's favorite banjo player, my gosh, there's so many wonderful ones. Wow, well, oh, wow. That's exactly what you were like now. That's from Mystery Beanie. Oh, well, Mystery Beanie? Well, I, I'm humbled and very happy with all these accolades coming in. Thank you for supporting Slow House Party. Thank you for supporting the Pozo Saloon. Uh, big, big, slow, S-L-O. Uh, 
I'm lucky enough to have moved out here to the country about eight years ago. I spent 50 years living in big cities. I'm from Washington, D.C. I lived in San Diego for five years. I lived in Nashville for about four years. And then I went back to D.C. for about 12 years before I couldn't take the big city anymore. And I'm so happy to live in the country now. As, as Elton John said, get back, honky cat. Living in the city ain't where it's at. It's like trying to find gold in a silver mine. It's like trying to get whiskey out of a bottle of wine. So I'm going to do, that was a really wistful and beautiful poetic song. I have a friend named Martha Adcock. Martha is married to one of the greatest banjo players in history, Eddie Adcock. Eddie and Martha are dear friends of mine. They used to sneak me into their shows when I was a teenager by claiming that I was Eddie's nephew. <clears throat> and then I'd be watching the shows and Eddie would turn his banjo away from me so I couldn't steal his licks. Anyway. <laughs> I know, but he knew that, uh, in fact, a friend of mine named Randall Morton has just a, done a tablature book of Eddie Adcock's music, and I'm going to buy that sucker as soon as it's available. <laughs> Eddie did two things very, I'll talk about Eddie for a second, Eddie Adcock, two things he did uh, revolutionary on the banjo. First of all was using his thumb and index finger like a flat pick. It, he was a guitar player first using a pick, so with a pick you would go on one string, so Eddie figured out how to do that with two fingers. And the other innovation that Eddie did was the uh, Merle Travis, Chet Atkins style picking. So that's, those are the two things that Eddie did. <clears throat> But I think that the, oh, one other thing, if you go to YouTube and you type in banjo brain surgery, you will see that uh, Eddie had a, a tremor in his right hand and a doctor from Vanderbilt University volunteered to do brain surgery on Eddie to put an electrode in his brain to stop the tremor. So Eddie had to have the banjo in his hands during the operation so that he could tell them what was going on. So go to YouTube, look up Banjo Brain Surgery, and you'll see Eddie Adcock. And finally, the smartest thing Eddie Adcock ever did was to marry Martha Heron, because what an amazing guitar player and singer and songwriter she is. Here's the song she wrote when she was 19, and it just breaks, breaks my heart. Hi, ladies. Oh, don't ignore me. Hello. Thank you. You too. Hi. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, I'm not being ignored for a change. I'll dedicate this song to you guys. This is called, by my friend Martha Adcock, this is called, Something to be Finding. this morning I left the dock just in time I don't know where I'll be going the thought ain't been on my mind I'm going where there's something to be finding to be finding and I'm going where there's something to be found They say that Venezuela Has lots of gold to be found I've spent my life with a shovel My name is written and I'm going where there's something to be finding, to be finding. And I'm going where there's something to be found.
Only the waves of the ocean Bid me farewell tonight And I'm going where there's something To be finding, to be finding And I'm going where there's something To be found Thank you very much. All right. That's called Something to be Finding. It's a hard uh, record to find, but it's on an album called State of Mind by a group called Second Generation. That's Roman numeral two, ND Generation. And that was really just Eddie and Martha Adcock. Thank you. Isn't that lovely? All right. <clears throat> if there are no more comments, I'm going to get right to the next tune. Thank you. Thank you, Marie. A lot of them are really in the chat tonight. A lot of them are what? Marie. Well, hello, Marie. Uh, there's, been, there's been at least three. Marie Laveau, Marie Osmond, yeah, Marie, uh, what are they? Marie Antoinette? Yeah. <laughs> it's a Maria, I just met a girl named Maria, <laughs> and suddenly that name will never be the same to me. Okay, go ahead. So, uh, Who said that? Uh, Who? I don't give you a name, but I know someone out there is watching and waiting for you to come back with, uh, with some cash to the table. Well, I actually, I, I'm taking a break from playing poker because I lost a lot of money. So, <laughs> so you can give me that money back as far as I'm concerned. But um, <clears throat> I've been playing online a little bit, to tell you the truth. Okay, back to work. This one here, this is a song by Chris Christopherson. I have to give Steve Key credit for this because... He had me do a tribute uh, night to Chris Christopherson, and I said, well, the only Christopherson songs I know are Me and Bobby McGee, and what's the other big one? I can't think of it right now, but I said, obviously, you're going to have a woman sing Me and Bobby McGee, and uh, so he said, well, go look over his song list, and I went and I looked over Christopherson's song list, and I found one called The Best of All Possible Worlds. And what a great song this is. I'm going to dedicate it to Tom Passon. Check out these lyrics and see if you can spit them out as quickly as I can. One, two, one. <laughs> into a cop I didn't see. That policeman said, Mr. Cool, if you ain't drunk, then you're a fool. I said, if that's against the law, tell me why I never saw a man in that there jail of yours who wasn't just as low down poor as me. Well, that was when someone turned out the lights, and I wound up in jail to spend the night, and dream of all the wine and lonely girls in this best of all possible world. something sick and wrong. I told the man I'd sell my soul for something wet and cold as that old cell. That kindly jailer grinned at me, all eaten up with sympathy. He went and got another beer and came and whispered in my ear, if booze is just a dime a bottle, boy, you couldn't even buy the smell. I said I knew there was something I liked about this town, but it takes more than that to 
bring me down Cause there's still a lot of wine and lonely girls In this best of all possible worlds So close. Well, they finally came and told me they were gonna set me free. And I'd be leaving town if I knew what was good for me. I said it's nice to learn that everybody's so concerned about my health. I said I won't be leaving no more quicker than I can. Cause I've enjoyed about as much of this as I can stand. And I don't need this town of yours more than I've never needed nothing else Cause there's still a lot of drinks that I ain't drunk And lots of pretty thoughts that I ain't thunk And Lord, there's still so many lonely girls In this best of all possible worlds There's still a lot of wine and lonely girls In this best of all possible worlds I just got the high sign for five minutes, friends. I usually close out with two songs, but I'm gonna close out with one. <clears throat> friends, thank you so much for tuning in to this segment of the SLO House Party, live from the Pozo Saloon. Thank you, Tim, thank you, Angela, thank you, thank you Griffin, thank you, everyone here for uh, making some music happen. Thank you all, all you folks outside in the yard for being responsible, wearing masks when you should and staying six feet apart when you should. Much appreciated all that. That will help keep the law off us. So folks, I'm gonna play my closing number. This is one that I wrote myself based upon the death of Walter Cronkite. It mixes a little bit of humor and a little bit of sadness for this song called The Longer You Live. Well, the longer you live, the more people you're gonna see die. And the longer you live, the more tears you're gonna cry. Well, the longer you live, the more you're gonna feel sorrow and pain. So you might as well accept it, or else it just might drive you insane. Just the sooner you'll be under the dirt That's why we dance now Well, the longer you live The more you see how they rig the game And the longer you live You see it always turns out the same Well, the longer you live The more you're tempted to give up and give in to fight until the bitter end Cause the longer you live the more babies you're gonna see born And the longer you live another sunrise and beautiful morn Another night to gaze and wonder at the heavens above And the longer you live the more chances that you have to make love Two, three Thank you, friends. See you next time.
Thank you, friends. Bye-bye. All right, all right. A big, big thank you from the Pozo Saloon and the Shelter Stage at the Pozo Saloon to Banjer Dan. Thank you, friends. Uh, everybody just stand by for a quick 30-minute uh, break, and we'll be back with the Slow County Stumblers. See you in a few. And here is Paul Irving of Big Big Slow and Slow House Party to chat at you for a moment. Thank you, Paul.